our results for 2022 were financially very robust, uh, with an EBIT uh, just north of 20 billion and a solid cash flow uh, of about uh, 8 billion. Uh, we have presented record results for Mercedes-Benz in 2022 uh, in a rather challenging environment. Let's look at the challenges, because how, which challenges will actually be carried over into the new year and how would you characterize them and what impact will it have on your business? In 2022, uh, we were grappling with primarily uh, semiconductor shortages, but also uh, an energy crisis in Europe and uh, a bit of a stop and go in China due to COVID. So. If we look at 2023, we think that we will see a gradual easing of the supply uh, uh, chain constraints. We're not uh, out of the woods completely yet, but we expect that to get better. We hope that we can put COVID uh, behind us, but we're very vigilant about the uh, macro environment. Uh, interest rates are rising, uh, so we, we need to watch what the economy will be doing in the main markets. How are higher interest rates and the inflation impacting your business? Because your end consumer seems to sit in the luxury space. Well, it's natural that uh, uh, central banks around the world, when inflation rises, that they want to uh, cool down the economy a little bit. So uh, across the economy, if you have uh, rising interest rates, and in our case, roughly 50% of our portfolio within a year is financed, uh, it will have uh, some effect as it uh, will on the, on the overall economy. But on the top end of our portfolio, of course, the customers are more resistant to that. You also announced late last night that you are planning on buying back a substantial amount of shares. Why is that? And um, yeah, why are, you, why are you doing that, essentially? Uh, we have decided to spend up to 4 billion euro over the next two years to buy back shares. And simply put, we believe in our strategy. We believe in the future potential of this company. So we think our stock is a good investment. And with the net industrial liquidity position that we have and the expected cash flows over the coming years, uh, we feel that this is a, uh, a vote of confidence for our strategy and in the interest of our shareholders. Um, let's also look at um, the dividend pr proposal because you have hiked the dividend as well. So um, is that also part of your sort of share price uh, strategy? We have a, a very uh, solid uh, dividend strategy since many years that we take roughly 40% of our net income that needs to be covered by the cash flow that we put uh, into dividend. Uh, for this year, that means uh, €5.20 per share, which is a high number. And if you consider that the very high dividend from last year uh, of five euros also included the truck business that was then uh, spun off, uh, the 520 uh, should also be a strong signal to our investors. Of course, um, it's all about new models as well when it comes to the outlook for the car maker. And here, um, there's at least rumors around that they're going to uh, push a new, smaller version of the sold-out G-Class onto the market. So I had to ask him when that is coming and where it will be produced. Perhaps we listen in again. For a brand like Mercedes-Benz with so many fans around the world, there is always constant speculation about what's going to be the next uh, hot car, cool thing for mercedes uh, so I have to disappoint you. You have to watch this space with regard to what our product portfolio is concerned. But you're right. The G is in a class of its own and is literally sold out. So to sum it up, um, contrary to what Dieter said to did all the years, Ole Kalinius is actually pushing money onto the shareholder side of things. So, um, yeah, doing some share price strategy here and um, with the share buy program that was announced late last night, hiking the dividend and also the profitability of the car maker. And car maker is, as I said, at record highs. Never before Mercedes has been so profitable uh, like last year under Ola Kalenius. But the outlook is uh, full of uncertainties and that might be weighing on the outlook for, Dein for Daimler, for Mercedes. But still, the numbers are very positive and um, the share price reaction is so as well. Indeed, we are seeing that today, uh, a rare bright spot on the market. Uh, thank you very much for that, Aneta.